Hello everyone. Welcome. This is Tracy Holloway and this is Life Upgrade Broadcast Healing Birth. What a great topic. What a great amount of people that are joining us tonight and so many different people, new people. Welcome all of you. Welcome to this amazing community, this family of light. People that are intent on making a difference making a change in the world, by being the change in the world. We're going to go really deep tonight into a very powerful meditative process. And so if you haven't done so already, um, put the ironing down, the washing up, whatever it is that you might get distracted by. I know you love to do all those household chores, um, but you can be let off the hook this evening just for an hour um, and uh, enjoy some time together. Make sure your phones are off so as you aren't going to be disturbed. And if there's anyone else around, then just let them know not to disturb you for the next hour. And then you'll be able to drop really deeply into this process. And I also recommend that at the end of the meditative journey, when I finish speaking, but the music continues playing, then see if you can just stay with that process. Stay just with the music, just with the stillness, just with your own inner journey and just observe that. See where that takes you. See where it goes. Just allow it to unfold in whatever way it needs to for you. This can be a very powerful time, a time of deepening the whole process. And all the changes that we'll be making and the energies that we'll be playing with at this time will continue to work with you over the coming days, weeks, months, even years ahead. We're making some very deep changes, powerful changes, important changes. And so just allowing yourself to settle into this, finding a nice comfortable place to be. I will be speaking as slowly and as clearly as I possibly can, as I know that there are many of you listening across the globe uh, and English isn't the first language for all of you. So I will do my very, very best to be clear and uh, and allow that to flow. And the energy will take you on this beautiful journey regardless of the words. And so if you don't understand everything that's being said, that's okay. I know that there are some actual birthdays amongst you this evening, today, and so happy birthday to those of you whose birthday it is on this special day, which is kind of a, a rebirth day, a new birthday for all of you. We'll be celebrating that, a new phase, a new start, as we ground the new energy of this time, creating a gateway, grounding the energies and opening up the space so that something new becomes possible. The old paradigm of birth is really not serving anyone. I could speak a great deal about all the things that are wrong with the current birth paradigm, uh, but there are already lots of people doing that. What I think is important is that we come together and energetically in consciousness make some deep and profound changes as so as that can filter down and be grounded and useful to others. I worked for quite a long time uh, in all kinds of, with all kinds of therapeutic techniques and healing modalities, working to help to support people to change things in their lives, to move from the things that they didn't like into doing the things that they did like or moving from 
physical health problems or mental problems, emotional problems, spiritual problems, whatever it was that was holding them back into being able to do the things that they did want to do or be as healthy as they wanted to be. And what was interesting in that time was that I often saw a repeated pattern occurring where the very framework, the very foundation of that person's birth was still playing out in their life and and holding them back, holding them in a, a certain pattern. And so making changes energetically, Uh, rewiring neural pathways and reprogramming the cellular cellular information would enable them to make the shift from their old pattern into a new pattern. Well, I had great opportunity to work with so many different kinds of people, with so many different things that they were trying to achieve or wanting to change. But what I thought whilst I was observing all this was, my goodness, if birth itself was different, if that was changed as a whole, then these adults wouldn't be having the problems that they're having now. They would be healthy, successful, happy, etc. And so why wait until people are grown up and unhappy and unhealthy, why not change the energy around birth? Surely that's what needs to change. And so I specialised in that area for quite some time. I I was absolutely fascinated and dedicated to the consciousness or the the memory and the imprints held within the womb itself, the layers of trauma that are held there, not just in women, but energetically also in men. And I realised as I experienced more and more of this, that this was really dense, very old information that was just being passed down the generations. It seemed to me that a great deal needed to change because as I worked with women around birth and around relaxing for childbirth and letting go of the fears and the worries and the stresses which were often very deep rooted within them, as I worked in that area what I saw more and more of was this whole collective framework or imprint or field of information that's shared by everyone that's holding birth in a particular paradigm. I was not only fascinated in birth itself, but also in what had happened to women And how we'd gone from these amazing beings that were revered for being able to go into an ecstatic state of bliss and bring forth life to being sometimes even unable to conceive because there was that much old dark and dense information being held at a cellular level within the body. And so that took me off to work in fertility and I specialised in that area for a while because I realised that within that area the density of this information this old ancestral wound was at its greatest. And that if it was possible 
for somebody to be able to unconsciously block the creative process that was so natural within them, then that that was something quite powerful that was disempowering and that needed to be changed. It was as if the flow of nature was somehow being stopped and that there was memory held, fear held, that was stopping that natural flow. And so with the years that I spent specialising in those areas, I had the most amazing opportunity to work with just so many wonderful people and to explore extensively the trauma of birth, the memories, uh, ancestral historic memories held within the body, but particularly within the womb. And I worked with many groups as well as individuals to see what was possible within consciousness to, to change the mindset and then to change the physicality by changing the energy around. So that was quite interesting. But what it also showed me was that there was a lot of work looking backwards in time rather than being present and changing things now. It just seemed to be quite a drawn out process to go back through so much ancestral memory in order to be able to allow what is natural to flourish. I feel as if tonight, today, at this point in time, we're collectively coming together because we share the same vision. The vision is that every single child, every single baby, every single person should be born in love. They should feel that love all around them. They should be received into a world that loves them. That they can feel nourished, that they can feel supported. Unfortunately, what the current birth paradigm does is not only does it disempower women with so much intervention, what the alternative side of things tends to do is also make women feel as if it's their fault, as if they're not getting it right, as if they're somehow doing something wrong. And there's this huge amount of guilt that women carry huge. They feel as if they haven't done enough, that they're not good enough. And this has to change. You have done nothing wrong. You have done nothing to feel guilty about. This paradigm this time has this field of information within it that needs to shift and it shifts by you letting go of these feelings and knowing that you too have been born into this cycle and have just carried on in this information flow with little or no control, because that's how it's been. 
And that's why now it has to change. And it will change. Over the coming years, we're going to see huge changes in attitude towards birth. Towards mums to be. Towards all areas of child welfare. And so we need to come together collectively in light and hold the space required to make the changes within consciousness that, that can then filter down through mind, through emotion, to the biochemical, physiological transmission throughout the body Recoding new cellular information, awakening the body to new awareness, to the remembrance, to remembering how it is and how to let go and let it be. That flow of love, that flow of oneness, that complete surrender that allowing, that bliss. And that may take a while for some, and that's okay. And all of the children that are being born right now, they're all being born with a certain intention. They each have their role to play within this shift. And so every child that's born has chosen the particular way that they were birthed in order to help with this overall change that's occurring. And so forgiveness for yourselves as mothers, for those of you that are mothers, it's really important. You're part of this change. The experience that you've had is perfect and right for this time of change. And things are changing and will continue to change. Now as we come together in a group, collective energy like this, and I'm aware that there are so many different people tuned in at this time. Some of you, many of you have worked together in this way in the past as light workers, upgraders, holding space. Some of you are tuning in for the first time and some of you are ready to heal your own birth, heal the birth of your children and help make a difference in some way. But you've all got your different experiences that you're bringing to this collective pot You've all got your unique way of being, your unique way of seeing, your new, unique way of experiencing this gentle energy transmission and this unfoldment. Before we go deeply into the overall meditative process, it's worth saying that every single one of you that's tuned in at this time has been called forth for this particular shift, for this particular gateway, for this particular grounding of energy. And we're building a network of light, grounding that fully into the physical through your bodies tonight, that's what we'll be doing. And in doing so, we're anchoring the energies required for others to tap into. I know some of you that are pregnant right now, that I've spoken to a couple of you, and I'm, I'm aware that there are a few more. Then this network of light, this powerful energy transmission that we're connecting to and we're anchoring, is available to you when you're giving birth to your baby. 
you can open up and receive it, access it, tap into it. It's really potent, it's really supportive, so much love and your family of light, all these amazing beings, all these beautiful people that are here today with their hearts wide open, wanting you to have the most amazing birth experience by just opening up and letting go. They're here energetically to support that. And so connecting in with this more deeply at this time will be greatly beneficial. And so regardless of who you are or your reasons for being here, what your own story is, as we dive deeper into the energy that we'll be working with, we're actually going to be representing all of it. And that means if you're, if you're a guy, if you're a man, you still have a womb. <laughs> it's about three fingers width below your navel. And so you can work with the, the energy there. And those of you that have never worked as an, an energy worker or light worker, I'm gonna talk you through it all every step of the way. You're gonna be guided throughout. And so, as you represent this collective history, this overall memory, then regardless of your own personal experience, regardless if you, of whether you've actually given birth yourself, whether you've ever had any trauma of that kind, one thing that we all share is that we've all been born. And so we're tapping into the richness of that, that shared experience, that unity, that oneness, that thing that brings us all together. Yet because we hold all of the memories of everything everywhere, and some are more emotionally charged than others, and some of them are unconscious, we might not be aware of them. Some of them are held deep in the body and they may be holding us back in ways that don't seem related to birth at all. And so we're going to hold the space for all of those layers to be transmuted and for this great change in energy transmission to take place. At the time of your birth, you are imprinted with certain information, depending on the environment, depending on the physiology the, of your mum, depending on the emotional well-being or mental state or the biochemical reactions going off in her body. All of those things within your environment will have structured you in a certain form, kind of giving you shape on an energetic level. And that can sometimes be quite restricting, particularly if, for example, when you were born, that uh, energetic impulse or information that you received was that of panic, that of that huge adrenaline rush, and therefore your life has been shaped by stress and anxiety and everything perhaps feeling like you either really need to control it or, or it's out of your control. Then you're wired, if you like, to that kind of emotional state to be reliant in, in some way on that kind of information. And so what we're going to be doing is creating the opportunity 
for you to receive a higher frequency of energy and information. To open up and receive that so that your birth imprint, if you like, the foundation to your existence at this time receives a huge upgrade. We're going to do the same for the children that you've given birth to and we're going to just allow this to filter right back through time so that it can filter onwards and outwards to influence all of those children that are yet to be born. We've got an amazing opportunity tonight. And so my heart is in full appreciation and gratitude to each and every one of you for the role that you're playing, for the time that you're taking and for the place that you're in right now. Regardless of how that place feels and what experiences that you've had to bring you to this point. This is that time of change, of letting go. And so without further ado, I'm going to ask you to take a few moments to relax really deeply. If you haven't done so already, then now's the time to close your eyes. You can take a few moments just to focus on your breathing. This will help to just deepen your connection to yourself. Deepen your connection to this moment. As you come fully into this moment, into the present, into this time now. There is so much love in your heart, so much love there that you share, that you share with those that you love, your children, the children, all children. And we are all children, aren't we? No matter what our age is, we'll always be children in life. And so take a moment to allow your loving heart to embrace each and every other child of light that's tuned in right now. All the other people that have taken this moment to attune with you in celebration of your birth, in celebration of your light. And so as you receive the love from their heart, so they receive the love from yours. And this network of love, of light, brings us all together as one. Feel that. Allow yourself to receive that love. Allow the energy of your heart to open wider than ever before. This is the love you deserve. This is the love you were born to receive. love is creating a gateway between us all, a 
gateway that will serve to change the birth paradigm so that this love is felt by all. You can be of service at this time by allowing your amazing, true, empowered heart to receive the activation required to know true love and to open to it fully. Your heart is opening more than ever before to a higher frequency than previously experienced. It's this new frequency that we're anchoring into the physical body at this time to create this gateway. You can imagine, you can pretend, you can expand into this space and allow this space to stretch beyond all that you can imagine, beyond time. As if your heart and the heart of the very first star Connect as one and remember the beauty and power of the creative process and all the information transmitted energetically, received easily, known intuitively, integrated beautifully. This is a powerful gateway of light and you are holding this space, you hold it effortlessly. You can relax more deeply nowhere else you need to be, nothing else you need to do. You can let go into the light. Allow your whole body to unwind. Just let the energy wash over you. Deep, deep within the very heart of your being, to where it all began, right to that moment when you were just a tiny spark of a light and you were travelling, you were ready, you wanted to be born to come to this place to see what you could do how you could be of service how you could help to transmute the energies of this time you're a light tiny speck of light but within that tiny light, you're just so powerful, so unbelievably powerful. The light is so pure, it's so bright, it's so magical. Pure essence of love, nothing less. As you start to sense the 
physical body of your mother, your chosen one, the one who you're coming to bless with your presence. As soon as your light touches her, she starts to transform with beauty and love, wonder and awe. Your light is so beautiful, so powerful, so strong. Regardless of all her previous experiences, regardless of the history of humanity, regardless of everything that's gone on before and all of the memory that's held, as you nestle down into her womb, the light and power of your magnificence radiates out into that womb space to every single cell, every fibre of her being. Allow your light to shine. Within the womb of your mother. And let her remember. Through this moment in consciousness. What it feels like. To receive the energy transmission of true love. She can feel it. She knows it's true. It resonates throughout her whole being, transcending her, raising her consciousness, enabling her to see more clearly than ever before, enabling her to know truth more deeply than ever before. Regardless of all her experiences and anything you may know about her in memory, in this moment a new transmission is created. As her womb remembers, so that light, that powerful energy that you're transmitting so naturally and so easily. So that transfers to her mother's womb. And your grandmother starts to receive that light energy transmission of this powerful moment now. You're the light of transformation. You're intelligent. Intelligent light energy transmission empowered with all the information required to change the deepest cellular imprint within the womb of not just your mother, but her mother and her mother's mother. Like Russian dolls, one within the other, within the other. So this energy transmission filters out womb within womb within womb within womb. And you keep shining. You keep transmitting. Your energy is more powerful than anything. It effortlessly moves through the density. It effortlessly recodes information. It 
effortlessly takes the light into all of those places it's required to shine and those places that it's never been before everywhere now there is light more light your light the light infused with the power and presence of the creative moment known to the very first star. You are the gateway that receives the information as it's transmitted from that very first moment of creative presence throughout the ancestral womb of all of those amazing women that brought you into being so that every single one of them receives the new information imprint upgrade You're so tiny. You can see yourself not just as a tiny spark of light, but also as a tiny baby. And that all around you now is this network of light that we're holding together at this time. All of these other wonderful beings. All of the guidance, seen and unseen and all of those wonderful women in your family line who have just received the light energy transmission and they're waking to their true power. They all surround you now. They're all holding you now in the most loving and beautiful space. Celebrating you. We're all celebrating you. It's your birthday. And on this day, this special, special day, infinite light shines for you. To the very depths of you. To the very soul of you. To the very heart into the eternal you without limits endlessly You are the light of transformation. You are the baby birthed into a new world where love is known, where that space is held for you to flourish, to be nourished, to be nurtured, to shine brightly. You are the womb, the historic womb of all women. Hold a space now and see this womb, however it appears to you right now. Allow it to come forth. And as it does, just set a clear intention that this womb 
will know true love. That this womb knows truth. And that female power is being restored right now just by this intention just by setting the framework all around and instructing it to be so The female body has experienced so much. The memory of that which has been experienced. As many of those sisters have been disempowered. Mutilated. Disfigured harmed, betrayed. We hold a space for the soul that holds the fear. This womb that you sense, that you see it's like a heart. It's the heart at the centre of the creative process. Allow it to shine with that same love, regardless of your personal experiences, regardless of what history you know feel, sense or understand, regardless of the experiences of your mother, your grandmother, your ancestors, this moment of power, in this moment now, is an anchoring of new energy into the womb space of all so that this light energy transmission of pure love can be received into the cellular information and reprint, imprint and recode all of the information held changing that vibration layer by layer all at once, without limitation. The womb and heart as one sparkling, as that density, that pain, that suffering, disempowerment, struggle, betrayal, the grief, the sadness, the anger, guilt as it all washes away in the light. Allow it to wash away in the light. Observe this within yourself so that together we can observe this in the collective energy field. so that we can see this change now. Create it differently from this moment forth. So that the new ones, these little babes that are waiting to come in, can come into this sparkling womb space. It's ready to receive them. It's just so comfortable for them. It's made of light. The same light that they're made of. Imagine it so. 
Imagine that sparkling womb space. So bright and light. The clarity of that space. A place that's one with all. That knows truth knows empowered love that's so rich so delicious so abundant oh, that little babe your babe your baby your babies as they come in in light into the physical, they come into that light space that can hold them. See this now. See each one of them in the glory of this space, receiving this activation. Regardless of what their real experience of birth was. Regardless of what you remember and what you know. This is a moment in time, a moment of presence, an opportunity for transformation. And you're creating that space. We are all creating that space. And this space knows how to hold your baby in this beautiful pure light energy transmission. Re-imprinting, reprogramming, allowing this beautiful light to energize every cell in their body, creating the most beautiful foundation. Imprinting them with the light that they know so well, as they are this light. And in this womb space that we create right now, so pure and bright, all memory falls away. And what is recalled, remembered and known is the purity of this light, this love, this unity. Remembering we're all one, brothers, sisters, family, star children, bringing their light home to the magical space of your super empowered womb that you're creating now and that you'll continue to empower with your thoughts and your feelings on a day to day basis enriching this experience more fully by knowing that your womb space, our womb space, this collective womb that we share in light is the most beautiful space in which starlight can be gently and beautifully born to the earth. The gateway is created, a space that we share, recoding information, imprinting the new vibration, the superpower, female energy, the new energy. within you. You're receiving it fully now. Into your womb. Into your physical shell. So that you hold it, nurture it and love it. And that anything and everything that you create 
created and held in the womb space that's held by the love of the heart. The super powered heart of true love that knows infinite joy and wisdom and can help you to channel that, to receive that. A new wave of energy is coming. As you receive this new wave of energy, know in truth that this is your destiny. To birth this light energy transmission into the world at this time. By recreating your own birth experience. by recreating the birth experience of your children, by recreating the birth experience of all those that have gone before you, by recreating birth, by creating the template, known intuitively, the wisdom of the Divine Feminine, the codes of information, remembered, installed, reactivated, accessed now, and forevermore. This is a time of awakening to birth, to its power, to creative presence, to how you as an individual and how we collectively, humanity, will hold the space for birth to be that sacred, powerful, true birth, the loving birth, the birth where there is no separation, there is no cut off, there is no alone, the birth that remains fully at one with the light. so that no child is ever cut off from source. No child is ever cut off from the, their own source of wisdom, their own source of power, their own light. as you drop more deeply than ever before into the creative power that you have held deep, deep within you there's a sacred place known only to the wisest known only to the truest known only to you where everything is love. Your children are there in that place. You're there as a child. Your mother, her mother. They're all there as children and you all dance and play together.
Take yourself fully into the moment where you can experience each and every one of them for the light that they are, for the love that they have to share. And whilst you're there and exploring and sharing the wonder of this connection, you remember that you're all one. You're all one baby. You're all one mother. We're all one child. Allow everything that you remember in this special and sacred space. Support the transformational journey as you deepen and deepen your connection to your true essence. It's time to take back your power. And as you do, Allow yourself to relax fully back into this light, into this powerful moment of personal transformation where you are held, so, so beautifully held, sacred being of light. And allow yourself to give birth to yourself. Allow yourself to receive yourself through light energy transmission. Give birth to the new you, the true you, the empowered you, the enriched you, the you of you, the you you came here to be. The you beyond your previous birth experiences and beyond all the coded information that birth has held historically. In truth and in essence, give birth to your totality. So it is.